Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the predictive modeling model, in the previous videos we have seen what is predictive modeling and its types, how to identify variable and uh, we have performed univariate analysis for continuous and categorical variables. In today's video we will talk about bivariate analysis. So what is bivariate analysis? In univariate analysis, we have taken one single variable and we have analyzed and visualized that how the variable is related with others and all, right? So in bivariate analysis, we're going to take two variables, we're going to compare two variables and we're going to check how those two variables are related, whether it is dependent or independent. So that is what about bivariate analysis. So we're going to perform simultaneous analysis on two variables uh, to see whether how uh, the variables got associated with, e with each other. Example goes like this, ice cream sales compared to the temperature on that day. Yes, here you see that two variables, one is about ice cream sales and another one is about temperature. So we're going to analyze, uh, you know, uh, how these variables are related. And I can take one more example, we can compare traffic accidents with weather on that particular day. So if the weather is bad, and if it is rainy, so we can compare the tra traffic accidents as well. And one more thing is like uh, weight versus height. And we're going to perform these three tasks. One is age and fare. If you see this, uh, age is, we know that it is a continuous variable. And fare is also a continuous variable. So we're going to perform continuous, continuous uh, variable or analysis. And if you see that the uh, mean age of men and mean age of women are different. If a question arises like this, so we're going to perform this one. So if you see this, age is a continuous variable and gender, we know that it, it has a value of 0 and 1, that is male and female. So this is categorical, right? So we're going to perform continuous versus categorical analysis. And the third operation is about gender and survived. If you see this, gender is a categorical uh, in nature and survived is also like we're going to plot. In our data set, it is given as 0 and 1. So 1 in the sense, it is uh, he or she uh, is survived and zero in the sense uh, the person is dead. So he, here we are going to compare uh, categorical and categorical variables. So these are the three operations which we are going to explore even in the practical session. First let's see what are the uh, mathematical operations can be used with these things. So the first thing is continuous continuous analysis. If someone asks this question, uh, does the ticket price increases with increase in age? So here the price is a continuous variable and age is also a continuous variable. So we need to extract information from the data set. Uh, we can extract it and we can visualize using scatter plot. And to check uh, or uh, the correlation between these two variables, we are going to perform correlation. So that is covariance. So the formula goes like this, R equal to uh, covariance of uh, x comma y and divided by their variances. So square into y square. So these are all the two variables like price and age and here the variances of these two variables will be calculated. All right. So the next thing is uh, categorical continuous analysis. So let's check this. Is the mean age of males different from the mean age of females? So if this question comes, uh, here age is a continuous variable. We know that. And here we're going to compare with male and female. That is gender. So gender is a categorical variable. So we're going to perform categorical continuous analysis. For this, we're going to perform uh, with uh, a bar plot and uh, we're going to do two sample tests to check the two samples or the means of two samples actually. And while comparing the means, if it is less than 0 0.05, if the, if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then the difference is, we can say that it is uh, statistically different means that two values is having a difference so that is what we're going to conclude so the two sample test formula goes like this that is t equal to uh, y1 minus y2 and divided by square root of uh, s1 square divided by n1 
plus s2 square divided by n2 so here uh, this y1 and y1 y1 and y2 is this is the mean uh, mean one that is mean of male and mean of female and uh, this is the variance of uh, male variance of female and this is the number of samples so we, do, we are not going to use this formula we are just going to use library i'm just giving you the explanation i mean what is behind uh, in the library so this formula is already inbuilt so we, we just want to uh, call the library and use the library that's it and the next thing is about uh, categorical categorical analysis so does the gender have any effect on survival rates so we're gonna compare that uh, uh, gender males or females who have got survived more or is there any difference or what so here gender is we know that it is categorical and survival uh, rate that is survived as I said that in, the, in our data set it is given 0 and 1 so this is also uh, a categorical because these both have discrete values right like 0 and 1 so we're gonna uh, perform this one uh, two way table is simple that we are going to display these two values like uh, uh, gender and um, survival rate uh, using group by function and a small table will be displayed like uh, this is gender male and female and 0 and 1 survived so how many people got survived and all and that is called two way table actually and uh, we are going to perform chi square test this is also called as goodness of fit statistics um, mm, so this is uh, to check whether the variables are independent or related so again and again we are going to perform three different operations all these operations are uh, saying that we're going to use two variables to compare their relationship whether they are independent or related or what so uh, the chi-square uh, formula goes like this you can say that uh, x square equal to summation of uh, uh, here we're going to use observed and uh, expected value that is o minus e uh, whole square divided by again e so o refers to observed value and e refers to expected value so let's perform uh, this using google collab and we will understand this better so first let's import pandas library and we need to read this csv data set i'm gonna run this so now my data set got read yeah and i'm gonna display few records i mean the top five records using head function Yes, these are all our records and D types to view the type of data types. And we know that uh, float, this is uh, continuous and object uh, is uh, categorical in nature. And first uh, thing we have seen is that uh, we're going to perform continuous, continuous uh, bivariate analysis. We're going to do a scatter plot. Let's import uh, matplotlib because we're going to. Uh, plot some graphs as well and uh, matplotlib space uh, all right i'm gonna run this so as we have seen that uh, uh, here i have read my data set using df that is data frame as my variable and uh, okay so uh, first I'm going to plot or scatter plot because we need to compare whether uh, the fare goes up when the age increases. Okay, so that's what. And this is age and fare and if you see this, this is age like uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and this is the fare. If you see this, uh, even at the age of 70 and 80, uh, the fare is normal, okay, right? Like it is not increasing when compared to this one. So you can say that uh, uh, there is no uh, difference between the fare uh, when compared to age. All right. And now I'm going to perform a correlation. Um, correlation we have already seen. I have made a video on that. Please uh, go and check if you have any queries in this. Um, <coughs> we know that positive correlation and, and zero correlation, negative correlation. Right. So. If you see this, uh, the correlation is between, uh, so it, it is uh, showing the correlation for all the continuous variables from the data set, right? Like passenger ID, survived, P-class. So our main objective is 
to check whether the age and fare is like yeah it is positively correlated and the value is minimal now the difference is if you use df.cor function and uh, it will show uh, for the whole data set right and now if you want for the specified variables then you, you need to mention our uh, data set i mean df and you need to mention the variable name dot core and again pass the another variable so that it will display only that particular value you can see that the same answer we have received over here right yeah all right um hope this is clear and then and the next one is about categorical continuous bivariate analysis so over here if you see that uh, the question is um the mean age of a uh, male and the mean age of female is different or what that so that is what we need to check all right so what i have done here is uh, in my data frame i have grouped by the sex that is gender and uh, a male so i'm going to calculate the mean for this so if you see this uh, it is uh, showing that a female uh the mean is like 27 and male is 30 so we can plot a bar plot for this also like i have copy pasted this and you mean that uh, uh plot dot bar you need to include in run this if you see this uh, yes of course there is a difference right male is greater than female friends but uh to check this one using a mathematical formula we going to perform two sample t test for that i need um uh, skypy library basically skypy library you can do all the mathematical operations like linear algebra interpolation and much more with that uh so for i'm going to import here from skypy.stats uh, import t test underscore ind so where uh, this is the library as i said that we are not going to uh, input any formula here we are simply going to use the library but we need to know the formula like how it is going to calculate right so the question is to uh, find the uh, mean age of uh, male and mean age of female is different or what right so first let's uh, put this uh, one in a variable like i'm going to read this um, sex that is called male i'm going to put it in a variable and female uh, variable is also there so where these two consist of the respective uh, values and now let's compare this one with a, a t test so uh, t test underscore ind i'm going to use uh, males age comma female age comma and nan underscore policy equal to omit which means that uh, we are going to omit missing values if there is any missing values in the data set it will just omit it okay so it will calculate only uh, for the valid values now let's uh, run this uh is not defined yeah i have not executed this i guess yeah okay. now this will be perfect males think it is male right okay so here is the result statistic equal to 2.49 and we need to concentrate on this p value if p value is less than 0.05 we can say that there is a difference and now this result is less than 0.05 so we going to say that or we going to conclude that yes there is a difference between mean age of uh, female and male all right so hope you understood this so p value is should be less than 0.05 if it is less than 0.05 we're going to say it is uh, there is a difference fine hope you understood this and this two sample t t test can be performed only for uh, categorical continuous uh, analysis or variable and we can find correlation only for the continuous variables okay so th these are the differences and the third one is about uh, a categorical and uh, categorical bivariate analysis so as i said that we're going to perform um, mm, here the question is um, uh, who have survived uh, compared to male or female so that is what 
So we're gonna perform a two-way table. That is, I'm gonna display these two values. That's it. That is gender and survived. So PD is pandas. So using pandas we can display, right? And uh, <coughs> so uh, cross tab is about. It, it is going to plot a table, frequency table. Okay, this is DF basically. Alright, so this is uh, the two-way table. If you see this male and female and zero refers to uh, the persons uh, are dead and uh, one refers to survived. If you see this basically female have survived more, right? And when, when compared to males, males uh, only 109 got survived. So now let's understand, let's perform a um, chi-square test to understand the relationship between these two variables. Right? So for that we are going to use uh, uh, chi-square uh, contingency. So this is also a library as I said that the formula we should understand and we can simply import the library and pass the values inside so it will automatically display the result. I'm going to run this. Alright, so the library got imported and uh, using this uh, library I'm gonna pass my pandas and my cross tab that is uh, df data frame uh, from uh, sex and uh, survived. So these are the two uh, variables which we are comparing. Of course, so if you see this, um, uh, we have got the result like 260 and this is our p-value the next one that is 1.97 e to the power minus 58 so this is also uh, when compared to less than 0 0.05 and uh, we can say that yes there is a difference okay so hope you understood this so these are all the tasks uh, that we can perform using uh, bivariate analysis analysis you can compare with different variables like uh, I have shown here and uh, try this one download the data set and please try this one and uh, if you have got any queries do let me know in the comment section and even though if you have got any requirements uh, regarding some other programming languages uh, do comment and um, all your requests will get uh, processed on a priority basis thank you and thanks for watching the video